Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many developers encounter. Our viewer has run into a problem while trying to execute a command related to Google Assistant. They receive an error message stating that there's no module named Google Samples.assistant.authhelpers. Let's dive into the details and find out what might be going wrong. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. The first step in resolving the error is to ensure that the required module is installed. The error message indicates that Python cannot find the Google samples.assistant.authhelpers module. If the module is not installed, you can install it using pip. Open your command prompt and type the following command. After installing the module, verify that it is correctly installed by running the following command to list installed packages. If the module is installed, but you still encounter the error, check your Python environment. Ensure you are using the same Python version and environment where the module is installed. Finally, if everything seems correct but the issue persists, consider reinstalling the module or creating a new virtual environment to avoid conflicts. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're encountering the error, no module named Googles, it might be because you haven't entered the voice shell. To fix this, run the command to enter the shell first. After entering the voice shell, you can rerun your main script to resolve the issue. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing the no module named Google's issue, here's a solution that worked for me. First, upgrade the Google Auth OAuth lib package using a specific command. Next, use the Google OAuth lib tool command to set up the necessary scopes. Make sure to replace the path to your client secrets file. After running these commands, it worked for me. I hope this helps you too. And that's it guys. I hope those questions and answers really helped solve that solution for you. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until you need next technical video, I'll be here. Have a good one.